I'm Jody Sterk and I'm from Flint, Michigan. I work at an elementary school for fourth grade science. I teach science all day. I am part of the multiple literacies program. There's a main question that we've been trying to answer over probably a month and a half now. And the question is, how does the land get shaped the way it is? So students have been looking at videos of cliffs and waves and river walls and even large things like the Grand Canyon or sand dunes. And we've been like, hmm, wondering, how does the land get shaped that way? And they've been coming up with their own questions and through the research they're answering those questions, which leads to more questions. Uh, we saw a picture of a house that was teetering off the side of like this cliff. And there was an ocean on the other side of the cliff. And the students are like, oh man, like this is, that's not good for these people. And so then one of their big questions was, well, how do we help these people? Because these poor people, their house is going to fall in. So the project the students are building now is totally up to them. And a lot of them are coming up with ideas like, well, maybe we should build a wall because we know the waves are crashing in to this cliff. So if we built a wall, maybe it would stop the waves. Or some other ones are thinking of like, well, maybe we'll put the house on like stilts up higher. So even if the waves crash through, and there's no more land underneath, the, the house will still be on stilts. So we try to cycle the students through the same process that an adult engineer would be going through themselves. So students, they start off with an idea, and then they see the problem, and they try to come up with a solution. They get to test the solution, because that's very important, because not all solutions that they come up with are going to work. And so after they test their solutions, they can go back and change their solutions. And it gives them tons of information, like mm, maybe my wall wasn't tall enough and the waves went over my wall and are still hitting the cliffs on the house. Hmm, what can I do now? What more do I need to know to now fix my project and make it better? Doing the different iterations at first for some of the students can be challenging because they're under the mindset of one and done. But uh, what I see is the majority of them wanting to make sure that the project that they're ending with is successful. I feel like now I'm actually making an impact, a meaningful impact on student learning, not only in science, but in how to be a responsible human how to talk with someone when you disagree, how to research something to find out if it's correct, right? How to not believe everything you see or hear, and how to solve problems. And because of this, I don't think I would be where I am right now. So I am completely in debt to them and can't wait to see in the years to come where it will take me.